Well, good morning. It's six o'clock. Six o'clock ish. <sighs> We've got some neighbours. Well, there's ice, ice on the uh, windscreen. <laughs> quite a popular spot, actually. Quite a few camper vans here. Well, we'll get out and have a look. <laughs> oh. I'm not a morning post person at all. Oh, I'll talk about night. Oh, I didn't really sleep very well last night, but we'll talk about that in a minute. I need some coffee. <laughs> There's a gas shortage. As there has been fuel, people are queuing up for fuel, which is just madness. And we won't be boiling in the bag, we'll be bagging in the boiling. Does that even make sense? It's too early in the morning for me to be thinking. Morning ladies and gentlemen, well I don't mind telling you, I have looked like an absolute zombie in the morning, I'm definitely a night owl, so getting up at 6 o'clock in the morning isn't normal for me, especially when I did like a two and a half hour drive last night, I don't know what I've done but I've really hurt my back, walking around like I've had an accident, oh, and I'm just getting old in the morning when you wake up, free advertising, here we go, all done. What an amazing view here, and we've stopped at the Kirkstone Pass Inn, and there's a car park here. And I've actually been using an app on my phone, but we'll have a look at that later, because this was an absolute lifesaver. Because you can just go in and pick where people have stopped previously in motorhomes and find it. So I found this in the dark, essentially, because there's no street light in here. So yeah, let's have a coffee, but the plan today, well, I'll tell you what the plan is today once we've had a coffee. I definitely need it, but wow, what a place to wake up, absolutely stunning. Cappuccino's very, very sweet, but anyway. Plan today is, we're gonna go swimming in a lake, it's gonna be absolutely freezing. We're gonna find the lake, then we're gonna go over to Grasmere and we're gonna get some gingerbread. If you haven't had Grasmere gingerbread, you've never had gingerbread in your life. I don't know how many hundreds of years have been making it, but it's just unlike any other. It's sort of crumbly and it's got a real crunch. Anyway, we'll go, hopefully it's gonna be open today. And from there, I'm gonna use up my National Trust card. Now is the winter of our discontent. Made glorious summer by this sun of York. Uh, Aria Force was it? Something like that. I've got on a little list. I was doing it there last night before I set off. So that's the plan today. As you can see, people are buzzing me, as they always do when I'm filming. And whenever I get the camera out outside, the van next to me, come out and stand there. Hey, Jeff, what's he doing? What's he doing? Stood there. It's, it's uncomfortable. So we're going to move off now and I'll try and get some shots of the van and we'll have a little chit chat about it. That's the plan. The bloody back's killing me. Oh, don't know what I've done. Let's bloody keys. Hello and welcome to my adventure here in the Lake District over a couple of days. We're only going to be filming for one day. And thank you to Open Road Cars for lending me this vehicle. Now, I know a lot of you out there have already asked me what's the difference between the Ford, which is this one, and the VW Transporter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to intersperse it throughout the day. So in between me jumping in a lake and gingerbread and whatever else we end up doing today, there'll be little sections of what I think of the vehicle. One of the things I do wish that this vehicle had, a reverse parking camera. Now, I know that all good drivers reverse in and drive away. This is the, the mantra. It's really quite difficult because I'm sure you get used to the length of this and there are parking sensors in there that beep, but you just can't judge how far away you physically are without getting out and having a look. So if this thing had a reverse camera, it would be an absolute breeze. But I've learned from now, I know, that it needs to be reverse in to drive away. <laughs> you can never afford it. No, oh, I know. But you've got to have a dream, haven't you? Are you going to have a dream come true? Problem I've got is, in order if I'm going to try and get it, find it, the water to dip in, 
it's either really touristy like major car parks or there's the actual sort of marina there so I'm gonna to have to try and find somewhere that's a little bit quieter where I can sneak down now that water is gonna be freezing it's gonna be absolutely bloody freezing in it and I've also got to find somewhere to park so that I can run back to the car so I don't get hypothermia so challenge accepted This is going to be cold, I'm telling you. It's freezing as it is. Of course, one of the things you've got to be careful about is you don't just dive straight in, which I won't be because I know this is going to be freezing. Because you can actually get a... Uh, you can go into shock. And obviously, you don't want to be getting hypothermia if you're staying in too long. Well, here we are. <laughs> are we doing this? Are we actually doing this? Let's bloody do it. Oh, it's going to be freezing. <laughs> it's gonna be bloody freezing. Here we go. Oh. 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 Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it. That is, oh. that is so cold. Oh my. Oh. Oh. It's too cold. Oh man, that is absolutely. Oh my god, that's cold. That is really cold. I wouldn't want to go out into the deep where I couldn't touch the bottom. I think you would get hypothermia. Anyway, challenge kind of accepted. <laughs> it's when you get your chest in, you can't breathe. <laughs> Disappointed in myself. Ow! Never mind. That is some icy goodness. That was absolutely awesome, and I'm not going to class that as an epic fail because that water was absolutely freezing. As I probably mentioned, there was ice on the windscreen of the car this morning, so that gives you an idea. And if I had a wetsuit, I would probably go out. I would have a bit more fun in the water but that's challenge one done today so we're gonna go up now I'm gonna see if I can get over to Grasmere and get some gingerbread we need to find somewhere that's quiet so that I can do a little bit of a review on the van <laughs> so here she is old blue old faithful and the more I've been driving this around in the lakes here there's been a couple of people have actually stopped me when I've pulled up somewhere and say, I like that van, that's a cracking looking van. It really does sing and look beautiful in the sunshine. Obviously here it's a little bit overcast. Now I'm not really that up on my vans and I know there's a van war on. At the minute, even when I put up a picture on Instagram, people were saying Ford looks good, but they're not very reliable and you would go for Volkswagen all day long. But I also know that VW vans seem to be much, much more expensive and I do wonder whether it's just the label, the brand, the name that you're actually paying for. So do let me know about your comments on that and the box below. I think a mattress topper would really help. I had a bad back, even with an inflatable mattress here on these seats, really quite hard on the back. Something to get used to. Well, I was saying that there was no USB on here, but I've actually just found one while sat here having a snooze. If you pull this up here, there's actually a 12 volt, an audio connection in there and the USB. So, there you go, all is forgiven. One of the things that I like about this one rather than the VW Transporter that we had last time is that this one's actually got six gears, the other one only had five. But what I have noticed is that when you're in first gear and you wanna to go to second, if you don't get it into second instantly and get some plenty of revs in, then you can stall this vehicle really quite quickly. Barring that, again, pretty much like the Volkswagen, very very smooth to drive i do feel like this one feels like it's more stable on the road like there's there's less shaking left and right when you're going around corners and over bumps and things slightly different position i think for the gear stick was down there i think on the other not that it makes any difference but it just means you've got a bit more leg room here to move 
really nice open space it feels like you're in something very very comfortable seats no problem at all yeah i've got a bit of a bad back but i think that's because i slept funny but we'll talk about that in a later part of the video so far really really enjoying it and the more that i actually borrow one the more i want to keep going out it's just fantastic that you're not bound by any time scales like hotels you haven't got to be there at a certain time get up when you want fantastic so i need to get some brekkie now I'm warmed up really nicely after that cold dip. It really was icy. I knew this had happened. Nowhere to park. Because I've just seen some assholes putting a disabled badge in the window and just walking off. And absolutely nothing wrong with them whatsoever. It, I hate that. They do that at Sainsbury's as well in the packing the parent and child thing. Really bugs me. So we'll just keep going round and round and round and round. The gingerbread hunt is real. Hi. Hey, how you doing? Uh, just have one packet, please. Six, please. It's two more. I shall eat it all at once. Things are weird. Come on. See you later, bye. There you go. There's the famous Grassmere gingerbread. And I mentioned if you've never had this before, it's not just your normal gingerbread. We'll have a look, maybe we'll have a cup of tea and a piece of this when we get back to the van. But it's all done traditionally as it was done hundreds of years ago. And it's just really, really tasty. It's got a bit of a chew, but it's also crunchy and flaky, if that makes sense. You'll see when I have some. Heidi, high bite cafe. <laughs> right, Cotswold Oak. So what I need to find now while we're here is I need to see if I can get some gas. There's got to be one in here. Surely I can get some gas in here. Otherwise we're going to be struggling for a cup of tea and there's another one there, trespass behind us. I might go in there and have a little look as well. Damn it, just like the UK, I was going to say just like the UK, just like go outdoors in Leeds. They've run out of gas, gas shortages, they haven't got any. So our only hope now is to try trespass, but he said you could try the one that's in actually in Ambleside. Guess what? No gas. Sold out. <laughs> we're not going to get any anyway. I don't know what we're going to do. We're going to have to go eat out tonight. The old point was being self sufficient, but we'll go down. Apparently, there's a regatta down there. We can go down there and see if they've got any gas in. Otherwise, I don't know. I'm going to have to find a co op or somewhere, drive out, find somewhere, and stock up as it were. I've only gone and found some, and it's buy one, get one free for $13.99. Can't believe it. Although these do look bigger than the ones that are actually on there. I hope these are all right. He said he wasn't sure in the shop. Hey oh, two big canisters of gas. What could go wrong? You see me with farm gates and other things. <laughs> see your two cartridges up. You don't see me again. I'll be covered in pasta and there'll be bits of me all over at malls. Cheryl Cole, squirt. <laughs> Face fudge. Bye bye, Grasmere. We're gonna go for a change, we're gonna go look at a castle. Why not? I love my English history. Let's go look at a castle. And you, of course, just look with me, which of course you are, are gonna give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and share. I'm gonna go and have a look at this castle. So let's talk about one thing that I actually don't like about this van. It's not just this van, it's the same with the VW Transporter. That is if you're a mountain biker. Where do you put your bike? Now of course you could take the wheels off front and back and push it in here but I don't know whether that's the most suitable and this thing hasn't got a tow bar and even if it did have a tow bar I don't know whether I'd be able to sleep knowing that Heidi High Bike or your expensive mountain bike was on the back. Roof rack? Possibly but I've got a bad back as it is without trying to lift Heidi up there on top and that's going to restrict you on where you can go. So. Ultimately, that's the only downside I can think of at the minute, unless you had a really secure bike rack on the back. So this is Ray Castle. I'm hoping there's going to be some great history surrounding this. Well, obviously there will be, but I mean people of interest. Richard or Henry, thought the Tudors. Impressive ceiling. But unfortunately, the main house upstairs is not open due to lack of staff. I'm so gutted. Well, that's a little bit disappointing. The castle was only built in 1840 by some merchants, some gin merchants in Liverpool. 
who bought it for £64,000 it costs and they were saying that the last time over the years in the 1980s it was sold for £4,000 and the Lord Mayor of Manchester bought it and then passed it over to the National Trust. So there you go, the building is in relative terms very very new and inside it, there's absolutely nothing inside, it's completely empty because the, the merchants that used to live here have either died or when it was sold it was all cleared out everything was gone so the entire place is empty so there's not there's no real character or anything inside you've got to get that sense of history but there we go we've been we've had a look and that's Ray Castle it's only about four or five o'clock now but I'm going to start looking for somewhere now to find somewhere to camp I mean that's not a bad place at the side but you need to be very specific and look out for signs that say no overnight stay or forestry commission area things like that and I've noticed a few vans have actually been parking in places that are designated for passing. That's really, really bad. We shouldn't be doing that. Yeah, this particular one that I've picked on the app, there is a four quid fee for the National Trust with a maximum stay of 10 hours. So even if we get here around six-ish and we leave early in the morning, no one's going to come and check. But yeah, a lot of the places when there's only like three or four spots, you want to get there nice and early. Otherwise, people just come and take them and you've got to keep driving around. We also don't park on bends either, so that's not the best place there to be putting your van or your vehicle overnight. Uh, blind corner, so we come round here, if there's anywhere on the left here, it's an absolute no-no. Somebody's not paying attention, they'll smack straight into the back of you. So, you'll see when we get there. Like Places like that on the left, no good, absolutely no good. Especially when you're laying in the van, because an impact straight in the back of the van, that's where your head's gonna be cabbage well as you can see there we go four pound fifty for ten hours but the good thing about being here is yeah I've changed my top is the aquariums here which means the ferry stops here so we can get the ferry now down to uh, Windermere we can get the literally ferry anywhere now so I'm gonna probably stay it's not the most picturesque place to, st uh, place to stay on a night time but it's safe it'll be fairly quiet hopefully and again we've got the ferry to be able to go to other places and we're not going to worry so last night was a lot more picturesque but do you know what it is what it is i'm here for the adventure not for worrying about where i'm sleeping and waking up in the morning i can still make a cup of tea here if we stay at the far end <laughs> Living the dream, living the life. Cappuccino and grass made gingerbread. Haven't got any better than that, you know. Wanna keep it? <laughs> <laughs> but as per usual, I'll never be able to afford it. What a beast. What an absolute beast. Jesus, I look rough. I look like I should be living under a bridge. Anyway, so as usual my timing is terrible because that was the last boat, so we are stuck here. But I think we have paid for that parking ticket, so I may actually just drive up to uh, Ambleside or Windermere and we'll have a little pot around. Uh, because it's still early, it's only about 5 o'clock and uh, I'm not ready for getting shut eye just yet. So we need to find something to do and then I'll come back. I think that's the plan. Missed the boat, literally, <laughs> and the train. What say you? Boats on the ground, he is amazing. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, just like women, fly away. Well, do you mind them filming here? Well, that's the end of the road trip, well, certainly for day one anyway. And the more I've actually taken that vehicle out, the more I actually really want to keep it, it's really strange. I really want to keep it now. Well, it's the end of our two day extravaganza here and I thought I'd re-record this bit because in the last bit the birds were cheeping all over when I was down near the lake. So what do I think of this van? Well, I'll tell you what, I've got such bad back pain. I had trouble walking and standing up straight yesterday and my neck and everything just doesn't feel right. So the seats in this thing are just way, way, way too hard unless I'm just used to being a king and having a really fluffy mattress and a memory foam. I know you can get uh, mattress toppers that you can get from Go Outdoors that would really help I think with those seats because the whole body is just absolutely aching. It's the last thing you want is when you're tired anyway because you're out here in the lakes of the Dales and wherever you're going in one of these things. It doesn't have a toilet. Cooking facilities I haven't really used because obviously I've brought my own and it's only for a weekend. 
there's no room for a mountain bike inside without everything getting wrecked and you turning taking the wheels off and having to put that in a bag and all this sort of stuff so you could put a tow bar on the back but I wouldn't be able to sleep knowing that Heidi I bike or your expensive e mountain bike is on the back of this thing but take that away if you're wanting a vehicle that you can take out on a weekend for a couple of nights or even three or four nights this thing is perfect I really really do like this one yes it looks cool it looks sporty but it just feels and this is going to be a little bit controversial out there and some people are not going to like this comment but to me I prefer this over the VW the VW tended to feel a little bit weebly wobbly when you're going around corners almost like it was top heavy it seemed to creak and groan I mean this may just be that particular vehicle but this feels absolutely solid when you're driving it's comfortable it feels like you're in a really quite expensive vehicle you can feel it because the control panel and everything feels solid and it just feels really nice six gears big advantage on the motorway I've done around is it 250 odd miles and I only put 30 quid fuel in I've still got loads left so I could still go for another drive on it I don't know what else I can tell you really it's got everything you want in there but the biggest biggest downfall for me is the seats it's just way too hard so if you can find something that'll go over the top this is fantastic I'm, I'm really really tired I look like I belong under a bridge at the minute that's because I find it hard to sleep elsewhere but then again I've slept in a hole at Catterick and I probably got more sleep than I did in this thing over the last couple of nights so there you go I really like this this is expensive huge amount of money I'll never be able to afford it but if only 30% of my subscribers gave me a £2.50 Patreon I would leave my job, get a van and we'd do this all day long and I'd stick a bike on the back and I know what you're going to say but you've got to have a dream how are you going to have a dream come true I hope you enjoyed this video I love this thing, I don't want to give it back but I've got to I'll see you in another video coming real soon I'll leave you from the National Trust it's not going to focus and I am at this castle Oh well, I'm at Salzburg Castle and it's absolutely stunning. I'm not bringing you with me because I've already been round. I'll see you in another video coming real soon. I'm going to go home and go to bed.